You know, in my book, uh, I wrote uh, the, the headline for Columbia was uh, Best of Both Worlds, question mark. In other words, it seemed to me that at this point, Columbia is producing these uh, standard, satisfying, reliable coffees. And at the same time, these just uh, tremendous range of uh, change happening with the boutique or smaller exporters and producers. And this uh, tasting so far really illustrates that. Yeah, it does. It because there's no, no disappointing failures, I don't think. Even with the Amazon uh, fresh uh, $9 12 ounces a yeah. cup, That's yeah. a, that was a satisfying, okay cup. A little too bitter, a little too astringent, but basically a good cup. And uh, with yeah. the big shoulders, uh, kind of everyday drip, uh, they're very, very drinkable, as, we, as people say about wines, for example, a uh, very drinkable cup. Then the other two, the two bird rocks, very, both very exciting in their ways. Yeah, yeah. So we have everything. And you notice that the, uh, the least expensive, the uh, Amazon, was the only one that had a certification, a Rainforest <laughs> Alliance. <laughs> Isn't um, that interesting? Well, I mean, I, I think with uh, what's happened in the coffee, the specialty coffee world is that the... Uh, the certifications like organic and the fair trade and uh, uh, rainforest alliance they're they're bonuses they're not differentiators they're not sales differentiators anymore uh, there's uh, with all of the emphasis on direct trade and unique uh, small lot coffees as a as a differentiating factor in the retail market unfortunately perhaps the uh, certifications of are less potent interesting it's but it's to the credit of that coffee it's a good s solid perhaps slightly imbalanced but good coffee with uh, a certain amount going on in the aromatics uh, that are that would excite you, uh, one, excite one in the morning, and a uh, very good price and a good uh, certification.